What's up people and welcome to a new inventory team under 10 bucks. Previously I presented a set of skins for a blue themed inventory under 10 euros. For today we got the same budget, however the chosen color is red. Remember that I'll use buff for my prices because of saving purposes. Anyway, let's get to it. Just like in the previous video, I would like to start the day with pistols. Therefore the first pick of this video are the dual Beretta's Panther in uh, minimal work condition. As we can see they do have some scratches here and there, however this was the best pick for a budget inventory. I know that there are already plenty of uh, candy apple skins and there's also one for the 5.7, however the one for the 5.7 is mainly used for trade ups for the Glock Fade, so I decided to stay away from that one. I picked the 5.7 Urban Hazard, minimal or condition, it looks quite clean and uh, it's a good pick. For the P250, I decided to go with one of the newest additions to the game, the P250 Contaminant. It's not one of my favorites, and I also would have loved to add the Muertos in here, but uh, due to budget issues, this will have to do in minimal work condition. For the Glock, it's an easy one. The Glock Candy Apple. All red, minimal wear, scratches are not visible, and as a side note, this can also be used up as a filler skin for trade-ups. The main USB choice for a 10 euro loadout was the USB check engine in minimal work condition. I uh, will keep the traitor and the kill confirmed for another video for another time. However, this one is actually quite doable. I also have alternatives for the non-USB players. One of them would be the P2000 Imperial. This should be factory new given that it's already quite scratched and we want it to look as good as possible. For the 5.7 haters, we have the CZ75 Red Astor in minimal work condition. That's all I have to say about this one. I don't understand why would you play with this gun. Now I can jump to the rifles. The first pick is the FAMAS Survivor Z. Not because I wanted, but because I had no choice. Also, this one should be in minimal work. For the Oak players, I have a fine piece of art. It's uh, one of the OG skins from the Cash Collection. We have the Oak Radiation Hazard, which uh, in Factory New, I believe it should be the top pick. The T-Side brother of the Oak is the SG. Funnily enough, it comes in the same style from the same collection, but with a different name. Oh, by the way, it also has the same condition. It's uh, the SG Fallout Warning Factory New. For this video with skins for a budget of 10 bucks, I can see that there are plenty in Factory New. I can proudly say that the M4A4 converter is also one of them. Last time we did not have an M4 because it was exceeding the budget. This time we won't have an AK, for the same reasons. The last rifle that I'll present to you is the OP Acheron in minimal work condition. For the SMG category, I'll start with the UMP full stop. Factory new and 29 cents together in the same sentence sound like a wonderful duo. It means it's cheap. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there are many candy apple choices. I think the time has arrived. I'll start with the PP Bison in Factory New. Another candy apple skin. It's the MAC-10, and also Factory New. This skin goes quite well with some crafts. I think all the candy apples do. The last SMG that I'll mention is the MP9. It's also one of the primary weapons, let's say, and is the equivalent of the MAC-10. The red option for this is a bit more expensive in comparison with the previous picks, but it's worth it. It's the Ruby Poison Dart, which goes for about 1 euro. For the shotguns, I'll only have the Nova Candy Apple. Another one! Yes, yes, I know, another candy apple, but look at it. It looks so clean. Why not have a clean skin in your loadout? This, in fact, in your condition costs 13 cents. I got no idea why I brought this up. I still ask myself if I want to delete this from the video. The thing is, it has a lot of red. I mean, I know people don't use it, or even if they do, they do it to troll their teammates. Anyway, here is an M249 system lock in minimal work condition. The last one to make the list is another Negev. Of course it had to be the Negev. We need to have a strong finish. This one is more of a camo skin, I'm not a big fan of that, but this will do. It's the lionfish in uh, minimal wear. With the negative concluding the list, again, 
I would like to point out that this time I managed to get in more primary weapons in comparison with the previous video. For this round, I squeezed in 19 decent looking skins. If this helped you to prepare your loadout, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more videos like this, and finally, I wish you a nice day and see you next time.